Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another mukbang. I know I look quite a mess, but I got really hungry and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a mukbang. I'm gonna put up my hair right now, actually. I got tacos. I have been craving tacos. I was over at Kim and Carlos's over the weekend and we had tacos one night and I've just been dreaming about tacos. So of course, where did I go? I went to Sabrosada. Sabrosada is my favorite place, like favorite Mexican restaurant. I just love their food. Like, so I got a lot of food, but I purposely ordered more tacos because I knew that if I didn't eat it, I was definitely going to crave it later on. I got three, let me see. Ooh, I got three mini chicken tacos my favorite my freaking favorite i also got three Ooh, and this is gonna make my car stanky and i just got a car wash and then i got three mini carnitas tacos oh my gosh and then when i come to sabrosada i have to get their rolled tacos because it is my favorite they also have flautas i don't like flautas if i have this correct i know that generally flautas are made out of flour tortillas and roll tacos are more like corn tortillas at least that's what i've noticed <sighs> do you guys can you guys see this hold on why is it not why is it too bright i also know that i said i wasn't gonna film in the car again but it felt really nice today and i kind of wanted to sit out so that's what we're doing. I'm also not wearing makeup, so I feel better filming in the car. Even if I sweat, it's not like as serious. I also only asked for green salsa. I'll eat red salsa, but I prefer green. Like if green is there, I will have it. Especially if it's like the avocado ones. My favorite. Okay, I'm gonna have a rolled taco. They have the best rolled tacos. I've had a lot of rolled tacos. Rolled tacos, I like the fries of everything for me. Like, if I go to a Mexican restaurant and they have rolled tacos, I'm going to get it. Like, mandatory. And I've had a lot in my time, but Sabrosada just knows how to do it. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna pick up more guac. And these are so easy to make at home, you guys. Like, I've made world tacos at home, but when you're lazy. Shoot. That is crisp. I just spat everywhere. Okay, for the taco, of course, I got... Okay, for the taco, I got chicken with onion and cilantro, of course. This is it right here. Oh my goodness. These are their mini tacos, by the way, you guys. I will never forget when I first ever had, like, street tacos. I was probably in high school. My high school best friend introduced it to me because I had never had it before. Like, I had tacos, but I never had, like, street little tacos, you know? Her and her mom used to go to this place. It was a taco truck. If you're in Huntington Beach, you might have heard it. But we used to call it Slater's Tacos because he was parked in a small neighborhood on Slater and Beach or I guess in between like Beach and Gothard oh my gosh he had the best tacos and then he disappeared and I and then another taco truck took over and it was never the same and I never could find him And they pack on the meat, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
They pack it in. Do you guys see that? And it's, I believe right now it's like two forty five, forty nine for one taco. They didn't give me any lime. But that's okay. Holy crap, this is so good. I've also been cleaning all morning. So I'm very hungry. Also, I brought you guys in a little bit tighter. Do you guys like it better? Because I feel like sometimes when I film with the widescreen, it's great for vlogs, but I've heard a couple people mention how they want to see the food. And I'm like, right, right, it's not a vlog. I don't know what to do. There's so much chicken on the side. I'll save that, actually. I feel like I kind of need to low-key focus on my, my rolled tacos because they're fried and they're going to get all, like, soft. Holy crap. This is a huge freaking bite. Mmm. Everything is so well seasoned. I love it. I think the only thing I've tried from them that I didn't like was their fish or shrimp taco. I don't remember. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is turning out messier than I wanted it to. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm going to set the chicken aside. And I'm going to eat a carnitas one. If I get tacos, I have to get either carnitas or chicken. I specifically like sabrosada's chicken, though, because I think... Like, they use the good chicken. You know, you can really tell when it's not good chicken. Like, it's fatty. Like, sometimes for me, Chipotle chicken is a little too fatty, and I don't want to eat it. I need to do a little deep dive on, like, the foods that I like, because I did not find out until very recently that carnitas are fried. I did not know that. And I used to eat it all the time. I mean, I still eat it, but I did not know that they were fried. They're, like, full-on fried. I did not know. Do you guys see the meat? I'm going in. Have a bite, everyone. It's not focusing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Sabasada also used to have avocado salsa, but they got rid of it after COVID. Hmm. They also have one of the best, um, carne asada fries I used to get it but it's just too big of a portion and that's a lot coming from me they do do half portions but even their halves are huge I would only get it if you had someone to share with. 
comment down below and let me know what your guys' favorite tacos are or whatever your favorite Mexican foods are. I don't want to say that I love Mexican food because I feel like I haven't had enough in my lifetime to say that I do, but I like the generic, like, Mexican food stuff. Like, I can honestly sit there and eat, like, beans and rice. I specifically like it when they mix a little bit. Um, obviously, I'll eat tacos. But what else? Like, enchiladas? Yeah, I'll eat enchiladas or... See, like, I can't even come up with Mexican food that I like. I've had pozole because Kim really likes pozole. I don't love it too much. I did have, I had a friend named Myra. She's still my friend. She's actually pregnant right now. Her aunt would make pozole and we would go after class when we were both in college. And her aunt makes the best pozole. And one of the reasons is because she uses like clean meat, not fatty meat. And it was, it was beautiful. Beautiful. I loved her aunt's cooking. It was like my favorite. She used to make bunches of food and then at one point she was like, okay, so Michelle's coming. Like, she would just always make extras and then ask Myra if I was coming and it was like the best thing ever. I love her to death. But I'm trying to think about other things that I've had, like chimichangas. Are chimichangas real Mexican food? I want to know. Because I feel like I always had like the fake chimichangas, but I didn't know if chimichangas were like a Tex-Mex, like westernized Mexican food, or is it really Mexican food that originated from Mexico, you know? Um, let me see. Like I'll eat almost any type of Mexican food. The only thing that I really don't understand is, oh, what is it called? I think it's chilaquiles. I think. But I feel like I'm saying it wrong because I'm thinking of the dog from TikTok. Or is he named after the food? He has to be, right? I think that's the word. It, the the one where it's like where you pretty much fry up tortilla chips and um, put in like salsa and like you can eat it with like... I don't know how you eat it actually because I've never really had it. But the concept is very interesting to me. I feel like I wouldn't like it. I have seen it. I've have never tried it because the concept is just like I'm like but the chips are soggy I'm like isn't doesn't it taste soggy I know that's the point and I know I think if you make the chips like crispy enough I'm sure it has like a chewy kind of crunchy factor to it but like my brain just can't wrap around it I don't know okay I have two chicken and two carnitas left I want another one. I just don't know which one. Okay, so I have a plate of my chicken. <clears throat> I have two chickens left. I'm going to save a carnita. S carnitas. Yeah, I'm going to save you. So then I have three tacos to take home. My brother will most likely take one. Yeah, that's good enough right there. Their carnitas are so good. I don't know if carnitas are supposed to be like dryish, but I I understand that this is a very unpopular opinion. I get it. I'm a very big fan of like dry meat, so like I love dry chicken. The only thing I probably won't eat that's too dry is like steak, because I won't eat it well done. But like carnitas, I like it when it's like dry and like shredded and like stuff like that. But anyways, the Sabrosada ones, I don't think I've ever seen them that juicy though. So they must be all kind of dry. Love it. My favorite. I am so sad that you guys can't see this. So I am going to film it with my phone. So you can. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. It's like majestic. I also brought in the chicken because I feel like you guys have to see this. The chicken. Oh, that's also carnitas as well. This is a plate that I'm saving. Mm-hmm. It's really missing the lime. Eating these tacos make me think of the Slater's tacos that I was just talking about. And he used to have like the best pickled jalapenos and carrots. I wonder <clears throat> I wonder if he just moved locations. 
but I just could never find him again. And I don't know his name. He was a sweet old man, and I think his wife did the cooking. He took the orders. They were extremely cheap at the time, but that was also like... I mean, I first met him well over 10 years ago. I don't know when he disappeared, but... I think the tacos were 50 cents, you guys. Obviously, like, right after that, the I think it went up to, like, a dollar each. But even then, that was pretty cheap. Now tacos are so freaking expensive, but I understand. But these are pretty inexpensive, I would like to say, with all the meat that's in there. And it's not just for the carnitas and the chicken. It's for the steak. It's also for... I think they have El Pastor. I have never really been a fan of El Pastor. But that's just me. Because I'm... You can call me whack. This is the best Sunday meal. I'm so glad I found shade. If I didn't find shade, I was going to have to go home. But I did. I'm like parked at a closed clinic. Usually they're really full, but they have really nice trees here. And so I'm parked. Tacos are it. Tacos are it. I really wanted a Dr. Pepper, but they only had Dr. Pib. And I've never had Dr. Pib. I'm assuming it's the same, but not the same, like Pepsi and Coke. Are you Pepsi or are you Coke? I don't care. Like, I can taste a difference, but I guess it's just not, like, Coke isn't, like, my favorite where I have to have Coke. Like, if it's not Coke, I can't have Pepsi. I'll have either or, but I rarely also order Coke when I'm out. I'm usually a water gal or Sprite or 7-Up, honestly. I just get water everywhere I go. It's just sometimes I am skeptical because sometimes some places don't give you filtered water. They give you like tap water. And yeah, I can drink tap water, but I don't want to drink tap water. So then that's usually the case. I'll order soda. Other than that, I usually am a water drinker. I prefer water. You guys, the tacos were so good. I hope you guys go get some too because... I want you guys to go enjoy some tacos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what foods you guys want to see or just anything pertaining to tacos or anything like that. Please leave a comment down below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am not a mukbang channel, but I definitely do mukbangs because it's fun and it's just a moment for me to sit down, eat, and talk with you guys. But I do also upload vlogs. My vlogs are honestly just following me through life and just now navigating life into my 30s. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support and I will see you guys next time.